Well, today we're in Calaveras County, California, in the town of Valley Springs. You see Highway 26 here with the crossroads of Gardner and Olive Orchard. As many of us travel down these roads, we will notice these very odd shaped rocks on the side. Well, these rocks are not there by accident. They are called columns and they were placed there many decades ago. And today we're going to tell you the history of these columns as well as many other interesting facts of this area. California Outdoor Adventures. When I came to Calaveras County in the 1980s, I had the fortunate opportunity to spend time with a lot of the old time residents of this area. And today we're going to look for the columns that are placed along the highway and also I'm going to tell you some of the stories they told me over the past three decades. Hello donkeys. Hello babies. Well today we're in Valley Springs, California on Hart Vixen Road. And we're going to share some very interesting facts that you might not know about your town of Valley Springs. When they were building this road, the builder, I think it was in 1968, came upon some very special rocks and they were in a column shape, which would have been a lava type rock, which would have been formed deep in the earth. So what this builder did with them is he placed them around Valley Springs and you might have seen them before. And we're gonna go visit the first one right now. He placed them at places of historical value uh, to the area. Uh, there's about four of them. We're gonna see if we can find them all. Okay, we're coming up to the first rock that was placed to mark a special area. Okay, the first column is marking an enormous oak tree. It's called the Big Oak. And it is so wide at the bottom of it here, you can't even tell unless you're standing alongside of it. It is estimated to be at least 900 years old. And back in the 80s, I was told that it's most likely the biggest oak in Calaveras County. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what the old locals were saying. The Big Oak sits on private property, but it is easily seen from the highway. Okay, so we saw the first column, which was the Big Oak tree. Um, but we're now on Highway 26, and I want to show you a site that most people never knew existed. And it's right here on the left-hand side. This part of the highway had a saloon and dance hall that was well known in the Stockton and Lodi areas. After it had shut down, an old man moved in. I believe he was a squatter, but he was always out there scurrying about the grass. He would do his laundry and hang the laundry up there right next to the highway. And I remember watching him every time I drove by. Then one time I noticed that his laundry was not being taken down and eventually it all disintegrated and fell to the ground. I believe he probably passed away. Shortly after that, they tore the whole structure down. Another piece of the column was placed here at the Chinese restaurant in town. It was formerly known as Pete's Cafe. Back in the 1970s, Pete was murdered here in this cafe. The murderers were never found. This cafe was known for illegal gambling, notorious women, and a lot of drinking. We are now headed to a location called Lunch Hill, which is located between Silver Rapids and Vista del Lago. The old timers traveling from Stockton by horse and buggy found that Lunch Hill was the perfect midday stop to have lunch while they were traveling to McCombie Hill or Jackson or even Angels Camp. We are now on top of what is known as Lunch Hill. A fourth stone was going to be placed at this site, but has never been found. 
Many decades ago, as you travel 26 here, you would see a sign that said Amberzini Ranch. I could find no information on that and they took the sign down. So it would be nice to know if anyone knows anything about the old Amberzini Ranch. We are now headed to a destination that was once known as the Hollywood Hills. But when you travel these roads, do not make any donuts. But they have no problems with apple fritters and cinnamon rolls. This small hill range that you're looking at was known as the Hollywood Hills. The reason being was Art Linkletter was once the owner of these hills. He was a famous TV and radio television host. We are currently working on an episode of the history of Copperopolis. We have discovered that Art Linkletter as well as Michael Landon had a great fondness of the Calaveras County area. Well we are now back at the junction of Highway 26 and Olive Orchard, looking at a stone that was placed there in the 1960s. This was the site of the former Cloverdale School that was located here next to the river. Well, we are now in front of the Valley Springs Market and Restaurant. But for years, this was the only store we had in town. It was known as Plyler and Lily's. I knew Bonnie for many years before she passed away. Here's one of the stories she told me. Bonnie told me that her father worked on the party dam as it was being constructed. And she said these little flat areas that you're looking at were filled with houses of the workers and that she lived there for many years as a young girl. She also pointed out these mountains above the Calaveras River. She said that when she was a little girl, the men folk would go out to these mountains and hunt bears. So to them, it was known as the Bear Mountains. Bonnie Plyler spent most of her life out here as she told me and she also said that when they opened up the post office she got P.O. Box number one. She said that they would ship the concrete by railroad to the workers at the dam area. Here you will see by the white flowers the path of the railroad. With Valley Springs in the background and Watertown Road you could see that they had to use dynamite to blast their way to get the rail lines in to move the concrete to the party dam. We are at one of our last stones to be found, which is located at the North America House, which is an 1850s stagecoach stop in Valley Springs. I'm keeping this location private because people actually do live here. And I'm noticing that there are two stones here, and I'm going to bet you that that other stone was going to be moved to Lunch Hill but never made it. I'm now headed to the San Andreas Museum, where I read that there's possibly two stones here. If you've never been to this museum, definitely put it on your list. It's well worth it. Okay, I just left the museum office and um, they had not heard of the columns, but the gentleman said that in the back lot there was a couple rocks he always wondered about. So he came back and showed them to me. And yes, they are the Valley Springs columns. When you research why these stones were placed here in San Andreas at the museum, you come up empty but I have an educated guess of why they were placed here. One stone I believe represents that Black Bart was tried and convicted of his last stage robbery here at this building. And where the stone lays is approximately probably 10 feet away is where the last man, George Cox, was hung here in the gallows in San Andreas.
Well, we thank you for watching this episode of California Outdoor Adventures, and we welcome all comments and information that you would like to share. Thank you for watching.